Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys? Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you, everyone? <clears throat> uh, uh, I'm fine. How do you say? Uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry? Mm, how do you say? Enchilarse. Chile. Chile. Oh, okay. Uh, you can say mm, got hot, maybe. Or uh, what happens is that enchilarse is not a verb. So you can say I ate spicy food. So okay. um, my mouth is burning, for example. I'm going to write it. Look burning. at this. Ah, okay. Burning. Uh -huh. ah, like Quemándose. In this moment, in this moment, my mouth is burning. <laughs> uh huh. Exactly. Like for example, like this. Look, uh, my mouth is oh, burning. burning. <laughs> uh huh. Like on uh, fire because you ate the spicy food. Is the main is enchilarse. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. And, okay. and what, what what did you eat? Uh -huh. uh, what what did you eat? I I eat. I ate. Uh huh. I ate uh, meat. Uh, meat. Uh, um, carne viste. Meat. 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 But uh, I. ¿Cómo se dice? Le eché mucho. Ah, you added too much uh, chili pepper. Chili pepper. <clears throat> I. ¿Cómo? Add. Add, add is like agregar o añadir, pero en pasado, added. Added. Mm -hmm. Okay, I added. Uh, I'm sending in the chat. Add is in present, but because you are talking in past, ah, we say okay. added. Added. Mm -hmm. added. Okay, added much. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay, that's why, that's why. <laughs> okay, uh, drink, drink milk. Milk helps. Ah, <laughs> uh, my brother-in-law, uh, the uh, he use uses a te technique, te te technique, technique. Mm -hmm. For example, buffalo wings. Ah, number, number five. Very, very. <laughs> oh my gosh! Uh, so they uh, tolerate spicy food. Yes, uh, he drinks. Panta because I is I sweet. Ah, oh, really? Andy, yes. <laughs> mm, okay, that's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, and let's see. Thank you for so much, guys, for being on time. Welcome to the class. And thank you for the one who has the camera on. What happens with the others? I want to see you guys. Camera on, please. Um, who else? I can see Mr. Torres. Hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. How was your day? Um, today it was very, uh, how do you say pesado? Heavy, or it's in this very... case, you can say tiring. It was tiring, mm. but uh. Uh, I feel good right now. Okay. All right. A lot of yes. work, I guess. Uh, yes, a lot of. I imagine that. Yes. All right. But and... uh, I, I'm here. I'm here <laughs> there... to try. <laughs> I know. I know. So thank you so much for being in the class. Okay. And... Thanks everyone. I know guys is difficult. The schedule is hard. I know that you might be tired, but here we are ready to practice, ready to speak and participate a lot. So ah, I can see more people with the camera on. Excellent. I'm waiting for everyone. So everybody camera on, please. Remember that is not optional. Okay, oh, it's an obligation. Okay, Thank you, excellent. Okay, welcome to the class. Do you remember the topic that we studied yesterday? 
Ajá. Uh -huh. Distribution. Distribution. Channels. Channels. Correct. Can you name some words that you remember from the vocabulary? But don't look at your notebooks. Don't look the notebooks. Try to remember. All seller. Ah, very good. Enter preview. Enter preview. <laughs> I don't know. Entrepreneur. <laughs> ah, that is the yeah. one. That is the one. What else? What Retail else? Retail outlet. Mm, okay. What else? E commerce. Ah, very good. Job lifting. Mm -hmm. Ah, do you remember that word? Excellent. Consult. Which one? Consult. Ah, very good. Consultant. Consultant. Mm -hmm. Customers. Customer. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay, nice job. I see that you remember. Nice job. Okay, so today, guys, we are going to continue talking about the distribution channels. We are going to include another topic. And the idea is to practice reading and also speaking, as always. Okay, so I'm going to start sharing the presentation, everybody. Can you see the presentation? Yes. yes. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, so today is June 24th. So guys, we are in the week one, unit one. Did you already check the platform? Yes or not yet? Yes. Very yes. good. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Don't forget to work on the platform, please. Now, this is a topic that we are going to study today. Expressions of certainty. Okay. That is what we are going to talk about today. But, uh, well, first, let's read the class objective. I need a volunteer, please, for reading the class objective. Me, teacher. Thank you. Go ahead. At the end of the class, participants will be able to use expression of certainty, 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 certainty to show how sure or certain they feel about a topic, action, or event. Thank you. So that is the vocabulary that we are going to learn today. We are going to learn expressions of certainty. Okay. But before that, let's try to remember the vocabulary that we studied yesterday. Do you remember what a retail outlet is? Can you tell me a definition? Minorista. Ah, it's basically a store. Can you give me examples of retail outlets? Uh -huh. Microphones, be careful. Which one? For example, for example, the store choose. A choose store, yeah. What else? Any other examples about retail outlets? Mm -hmm. Supermarkets, right? Super selectors too. Then we have direct selling. So remember that in direct selling, the ones who make the product sell it directly to the person, to the customer. Can you give me examples of direct selling? It's by it's and sell face to face. Uh -huh. What else? Another example for direct selling? By delivery. Mm. You know, but imagine in the delivery, guys, we have the person who creates a product, then I have another person who delivers the product. So maybe it's not so direct. What else? If I go to a restaurant, do you think there is direct selling? 
Yes. Yes. If I go to buy pupusas, what do you think? Is that direct selling? Yes. Direct yes. Selling. Because I have the person who makes the product and there is anything in between. It's just me and the manufacturer, right? So it's direct. Then we have e-commerce. Do you remember? What is that? Uh, for example, Ush Poppy online. Ah, very good. Exactly. Uh, uh, what else? Amazon. <laughs> Amazon. That is a very popular one. Correct. And then we have the wholesale. Can you give me examples of wholesale? They are, Which one? They are sell a lot of, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of product. Yes, they sell the product, but in a big amount. For example, do you remember any store that they are wholesale? Pricemar. Pricemar, yes, that is a very clear example of this business. Okay, very good. Another vocabulary that we studied yesterday is this one. Do you remember what is? Well, let me ask individually, okay? Let me start with ta -ta 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 um, Elias Neftali. Hello, Elias. Elias, are you there? Hi, teacher. Hello. Elias, can you tell me what is the meaning of um, mm, mm, supplier? What is that? Um, the meaning is the, per um, the person of, or um, business that uh, give the service or a product. Ah, very good. Yes, a good one. Elias, pick one of your classmates, please. Uh, okay, teacher. A victim. <laughs> pick someone. Um, Hosman. All right. Hello, Hosman. Hello. Okay, husband, tell me, what is the meaning of um, guaranteed period? Guaranteed period. I know what is the meaning. My problem is I, I, I can't explain. <laughs> oh, no worries. Okay. Try it's, with um, your own words. I, I, I think it is, uh, is the time mm -hmm. uh, the, the vendor give us a, a service for the product. Mm, okay. For, for example, if the product uh, se, se daña. Get break? Get or break. got broken or doesn't work? Get broken, uh, the vendor uh, give us uh, uh, <laughs> a time period or the opportunity to fix it. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. okay. Very good. Okay. okay, yes. Guys, I'm not asking you to be, or to give me the, the meaning that the dictionary provides. No, I want you to try to explain with your own words. Okay, Osman, uh, can you pick someone, please? One of your classmates. Okay, let me see. I can, I can see my classmate. Uh, in see, participants? I think, uh, I think Pamela Carolina. Thank you. Hello, Pamela. Hello. Pamela, can you tell me the meaning of partnership? Partnership is mm, like when you uh, associate with another um, little 
a little company or another person to work together in the business. Ah, very good. Sounds good. Sounds good. Pick someone, please. Mm, Nelson. Okay. Hello, Nelson. Hello. Can you tell me the meaning of consultant? Mm, it's the person that uh, um, brings uh, a lot of advice about the business. Ah, very good. Excellent. Very good job. Okay, so if you see, guys, that's the idea. I'm not asking you to express the translation. I want the definition. So, so far so good with the vocabulary. I like that. Do you have any questions, guys, with the vocabulary? Remember, this is what we studied yesterday. Okay, any questions so far? Nope? No. Okay, very good. Remember, as I mentioned yesterday, the purpose for this level is learn vocabulary and speak. That's what I'm looking for, all right? Now, before we continue, guys, I'm going to check attendance. When you listen to your names, say present. Um, Ana Lorena? Present, teacher. Excellent. Uh, Boris Alexander? Boris, no? Okay. Carlos Alberto? Present, teacher. Excellent. Carlos Ernesto? Present. Very good. Edwin Antonio? Present. Very good. Elias Neftali? Present, teacher. Very good. Eulises Torres? Present. Okay. Um, Jose Miguel Torres? Jose Miguel, no? Okay. Um, Jose Salvador? Jose, Jose Salvador, no? Okay. Um, let's see, Josma Natilio? Present teacher. Very good. Kevin Alfredo? Present. Very good. Nelson Alberto? Present. All right. Osman Enrique. Present. Okay. Pamela Carolina. Present teacher. All right. Um, Rafael Alexander. Present teacher. Okay. Santiago Roberto. Santiago, no. Okay. And Wilber Alberto. Present. Very good. Excellent. It's there's someone I didn't mention. Nope. Okay, pretty good. Okay, guys, let's continue again, guys. Camera on, please. Camera on. If you remember yesterday, we were talking, oops, we were talking about different distribution channels. And one of the distribution channels that is getting more popular is the e-commerce. And we were discussing about buying online. Some of you mentioned that you like to buy online. Some of you said that prefer to go to the store. Perfect. Now, I need a volunteer, please, for reading the question number three. Me, teacher. Yes, go ahead. Uh, number one. Uh, number three. Number the three. Okay. One and two, we answered yesterday. So let's continue with the number three. Okay. What do you know about Amazon? Do you know any companies that are similar to Amazon? Thank you. Uh -huh, guys, what do you know about Amazon? What is that? Uh -huh. Practice, practice. It's time to speak. Items. Uh -huh. What else? Uh, it's a, a channel e-commerce online. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Have you ever bought something on Amazon? Yes. Yes. All right. What did you buy? And the last year I bought my Alexa. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Was it expensive? No, no, because uh, um, a friend, uh, a friend gave me the package ah. because he traveled, he went to United States. That's great. It's good for you. Yeah. Okay. And tell me, guys, uh, do you think that Amazon is a small company or is a big company? It's a big company. A big Definitely. Company. Is there in only one country? USA? Only in the USA? Or do you think that there are in different countries? countries and uh, different countries, countries. Here, here, here the sales in different mm -hmm. countries exactly basically they already have the power in different countries right and do you know another company that is similar to amazon what do you think uh, for example teacher uh, chain mm -hmm. yes. Ali aliexpress uh -huh. all right what else? Any other one? eBay. eBay, yes, pretty good. So you see, e-commerce is getting very popular, right? Okay, a, a volunteer, please, for reading the last question. Me, teacher. Thank you, go ahead. Do you think there will be more or fewer online customers in the future okay thank you what do you think guys it comes in increase it's going to increase okay yes and you guys what do you think teacher uh, uh, I, I, uh, for me it's a good Good option or good, good way to buy in e commerce. Commerce, mm -hmm. but many people think it is not very good because uh, don't this this model don't give give us a guarantee mm. about the product. Many people, yes. many people uh, think think that mm, could be. Remember that it's not the same when you go to the store, that you can see the product, exactly. you can touch it, um, you can verify that everything is fine. Online, it has disadvantages, right? I mean, you can see the pictures, but that's it. And But, but, but now in the future, it is the big option. It is, especially with the pandemic, right? e-commerce became very popular it, so uh-huh and no uh, I, I i i was thinking it, it is the same uh, for example uh, if you have a a cuenta bancaria i don't know a how bank account a bank account uh, bank you, you, account bank account mm -hmm. you, you can get a app about the bank Ah, you, that's true. You, you can you can make or oh, a lot of transactions. Transactions. Transactions uh, online, but uh, uh, still there there are there are people uh, prefer go to get, take the bus and go to, go to 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 place. Yes. Uh, and make long. <laughs> lines yes. yes that's true that's true some people prefer to pay the bills <laughs> yes. uh, in person instead of paying online that is easier you don't have to stay in the line for a long time but that's yes. the way it is some people but prefer to go some people prefer online 
but it's more, more easy to use uh, the app. Absolutely, definitely. So imagine guys, when we are talking about e-commerce or online business, I mean, we find advantages and disadvantages. Some people consider that is something positive and others that is something negative. So let's talk about it, okay? We are going to read, so um, we are going to read this article about e-commerce. So now guys, we are going to practice reading. I will need volunteers. Who wants to read the first paragraph? Me, teacher. Thank you. Go ahead. Okay. Read the article about e-commerce to see if it's your right. In many countries, online shopping has become just as popular as regular in person, everyday shopping. Take China for its day and present nearly 15% of retail transaction. In the world's second biggest economy, they place online. Hmm, okay. What is this paragraph about? What is the paragraph saying? What happens with China? Uh-huh. Uh, they are improving in, in e-commerce. Very good. So look, online shopping or e-commerce is getting very popular. popular. Exactly. So imagine, guys, China represents a 50% of all the transactions. So basically all the economy, almost all the economy take place online is very popular. Okay, a volunteer for reading the second one, please. Participate, if you don't participate, I'm going to pick randomly. Teacher. Yes, go ahead. Okay, over the last decade, E-commerce giants like Amazon, eBay, Asus, and Alibaba have become both widely now and widely used by cons consumers around the world. The size and wealth of Amazon is simply unbelievable. 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 Mm -hmm. Each month, their website has only 3.7 billion visitors. And to cope with this huge demand, they employ over 1.6 million employees globally. Thank you. Okay, everybody, repeat this word giant. Giant. Giants. Giant. What is giant? What is that? Giant. Giant. What is that? I don't know. Big, the big company? Mm -hmm. Big giants. Exactly. A big, huge. Okay. Now, uh, this one, unbelievable. 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 What is that? Unbelievable. Incredible. Incredible. Yes, this is like when you cannot believe something. Like, imagine if I say, guys, uh, the selecta <laughs> win and you are like oh no that is unbelievable. <laughs> yes that's unbelievable we right? lost at the game teacher i uh, know i uh, know as always i mean <laughs> that is not so surprising but anyway so uh, write it down vocabulary okay so what happens here what is the paragraph about Teacher, I have a question. What is the meaning of widely or widely? Widely. Widely. Okay. Widely is an adverb. Uh, this represents like a big road. For example, if I talk about um, the Amazon River, do you know the Amazon River? 
Yes. The Amazon River is narrow or is wide? What do you think? Wild. Wide. So that is the meaning of wide. But what happens is that we are adding L-Y, that is the adverb. Volunteer, what do you think? What is the translation? So this is wide yes. and this is widely. Ah, uh, I cannot see your camera. Can you repeat? Do it again, Wilbur. Ah, uh, uh, this is wide, but this is widely. Um, not really. Not this, really. this is narrow. Okay. No. For example, okay. Asalwater River <laughs> is <laughs> narrow. <laughs> but what happens when it rains? ¿Qué pasa cuando llueve? Is wide. Uh -huh. So wide is como ancho. And widely is como que le agregamos el mente. Expandir. Exactly, mm -hmm. like ampliamente, right? Narrow is the opposite, angosto. Got it? Yes? Got it, teacher. Thank you. Excellent. Okay, so what happens with Amazon, guys? Amazon is big, it's a small company. What happens with Amazon? It's a big company. Yes. Big Imagine company. how many visitors do they have in their website? 3.7 billion. billion. Imagine, they are not talking about millions. They are talking about billions. Imagine, billions. that's a lot. <laughs> yes. Imagine how much money they are generating. Okay, I need another volunteer, please, for reading the next paragraph. Me, teacher. Go ahead, please. Uh, the main victim to the growing dominance of online retailers like Amazon have been the brick and mortar stores. In the UK, uh, the primary store used to be central uh, to a weekend shopping trip. However, over the last five years, 83% uh, 80, of the department store have gone bust. All right. Now, this is the negative aspect, okay? What happens, Amazon, we already say that is very popular online. They are generating a lot of money. But what happens with the department stores? Department stores are these ones. The ones that you can find in Metro Centro, the ones that you can find in uh, Multiplaza. What happens with those stores? Broke. Disappear. Yes, they are going down. Imagine in this case, they are reducing so they'll sales, they are going down, they are losing money. So is that positive or negative? What do you think? Negative for the store. Negative, negative for the store. They and need to innovate. It's better for it's the broad. customer. Mm -hmm. They need to innovate, yes. But imagine what happens with the employees. Yes, it's a problem. Imagine. So that is what I want you to analyze. There are very positive aspects about e-commerce, mm, but also we have some negative aspects too that we need to consider. All right. Uh, someone else, please read the next paragraph. Me, teacher. Go ahead. Thank you. So where do we go from here? The next stage of the e-commerce revolution seems to be m-commerce, which relates to be mobile shopping and the fact that people are now more likely to use their mobile phones or tablet to fulfill their 
retail needs. Thank you. What is the meaning for end commerce? What is that? Mobile commerce, mobile commerce maybe. Yes. Now people don't need the computer. They can do everything through the cell phones, right? So people use the cell phones, they use tablets. They imagine it is so powerful that you can pay, you can buy everything just with your phone. Again, is that positive or negative? What do you think? Uh -huh. uh, we ask like consumer, it's, it's good. Very good point. As a consumer, positive, totally. But if you are the owner of a company, of a retailer store, It's what negative. happens? It's negative. It's negative. That's true. All right. So, is it clear the reading article? Yes. Okay. Yes, it's clear. Very good. Thank you for the ones who participated, guys. Now we are going to have a debate. Okay. With your partners, you are going to have a mini debate about pros and cons of e-commerce, okay? Uh, team A, you are going to uh, tell us the positive aspect, okay? How the e-commerce has a positive effect on local economy. So you are going to say all the positive things, okay? And the team B, on the other hand, you have to tell us the negative aspects, okay? Why e-commerce is negative, the impact on the local economies. Is it clear the debate? Yes? Got it? Now, it's going to be optional, okay? You decide if you are in team A or in team B. But the idea is to give your point of view. We are going to be working um, on the breakup rooms. So guys, if you want, you can take a screenshot. I'm going to send a picture on WhatsApp's group too, but yesterday we have some issues that not everybody could see the picture. So if you want, you can take a screenshot and uh, I'm going to send it on WhatsApp group two, okay? Now, we are going to be in teams, in teams of three or four, and the idea is to win, okay? El equipo que gane, that is the idea. For example, if you are in team A, guys, you have to win. If you are in team B, no, you have to win. The idea is to be the winner of the debate. Important, you have to be respectful, okay? It's not a fight. No quiero que empiecen a pelear, please. It's not a fight, always respectful. And remember guys, participate, not Spanish. If your classmates speak in Spanish, the, uh, the point of view mm -mm, doesn't count. Um, I have some people with the camera off, <laughs> but I assume that they will participate. I only have one person that it says that is listener. So the rest of you, you have to practice. Okay. Are you ready for the debate? Everyone? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Excellent. Okay. Let's go to the breakout rooms. In the breakout rooms, you decide. You will be in teams of four. So two people are in team A, two people are in team B. You decide, okay? Let's go to work. Mela, hi, Elias. Hi, Wilbur. Hi, Elias. 
Hi, hi. Um, we are just three. Yes. yes. So, who who wants to be in the team A? I want to be in the team A. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Wilbur, I you I can I can be in the in the in the group B. Okay. Um. Oh, you don't know. I, <laughs> I can be the referee. You know. Oh my God. <laughs> ah, come on, take a side. <laughs> Ah uh, no no I I am uh, how do you say imparcial? Ah that is Spanish descalificado <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> okay if you want to say imparcial just is impartial. Impartial mm -hmm. okay thank you. But teacher. no take a side. Be <laughs> <laughs> mm, or mm. if you don't hey. pick a side I will give you a side. Um, three, two, one. Ah, uh, okay. All right. So in your case, yes, guys, you are only three because we are. In, uh, I mean, we have another student, but he is as a listener. So, okay, okay. Pamela and Elias, Team A, Wilbur, you have to win, Wilbur. <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> Always. Try to give objective point of view, okay? If uh, you say okay. something like, ah, it's because it's easy. Mm, okay, but give us more details. I'm going to join another student. I think that Ulysses is here. So if he join us, he can be with you, Wilbur, okay? Okay. Very good, you're gonna start. Um, okay. The Salis. Uh, this is necessary contract a new personal, for example, in the manage the, the uh, area, the commerce is positive uh, because the economy, new contractation and the person. And the, and the consumer is very easy, the job. The platform is a uh, easy use and an easy for me is this is a positive effect. Um, you, you for example, you, sorry, Carlos. Uh, sorry, I, for example, <laughs> for example, in my, in my job, uh, is the uh, it was necessary the adapter the the need for the 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 business because the the merchandising is necessary and the consumer um, lo exigen because the is important the new for the the marketing on the business. Okay. Uh, you see uh, something the death effect, effect. Uh, something negative for you. I'm sorry, I don't uh, you see uh, something negative in commerce? Um, and, uh, <laughs> <Never>. <laughs> in, in negative forms, uh, for example, the the consumer is necessary. Uh, I have I has the an um, electronic. Element electronic, for example, computer or cell phone, because the the buy the different product in different company. This is a, a negative effect. More in the day, 
in the world that the different person like one or two, three, four, <laughs> for example, cell phone is the is it's very rarely the person know no cell phone in, in today in different countries, right? For me, uh, e-commerce has more things positive that uh, thing negative. Well, for example, in my case, uh, I have uh, more uh, easy, more easy the pays uh, the bank uh, with the apps. Um, uh, trans, trans, transfers uh, between accounts, accounts. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the, product. the product, okay. Uh, yes, the, product. the other maybe is the uh, little, little store or retailer store is broken. Retailer stores. Retail stores, okay. Retail. Like this. Retail oh stores or retailer stores? I believe that a retailer. Retailer. Retailer, uh huh. Retailer. Mm. No. Okay. I. <laughs> stores. I I research always. Uh -huh. uh -huh. You forgot the vocabulary. Yeah, retail. Point <laughs> yeah. list. Retailer <laughs> is the person. Retail uh -huh. stores. Retail store. mm -hmm. retail stores. <laughs> can are, can I help my competence. Can broke. Broke. Mm -hmm. Uh, how do you spell Brock? E E. Without C, without C. Mm. I believe. Mm. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> Nelson, Nelson, what? King do? what? Okay. Uh, first of all, guys, when we have speaking activities, it won't be necessary to write it. Okay, it's optional. But what I need more is that you speak, all right? And remember, if I have a modal, in this case, I have can. What happens with the verb that is next to can? Does it need changes or not? Uh, repeat, please. After a modal, si yo tengo un modal, in this case, is can. ¿Qué le pasa al verbo? ¿Cómo tiene que ir el verbo después de un modal? Normal, Ooh. base form. Ah, thank you. Wait, so two. in this case, can I say two broke? broke? Two. Mm -mm. Break. 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 Yes, okay. that's all. Break. Mm -hmm. break. Okay, thank you, Chan. You're welcome. Um, Nelson, it's, it's your turn. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Mm. It's my turn. <laughs> Osman. Yeah, go ahead. Right. Uh, also, for me, it's, it's positive because you can buy when you stay in, in your home. You can buy a, um, a however, uh, whatever time. Okay, in our home. Mm -hmm. We can buy when we stay in our home, right? Yes, yes. Okay, Anna, what do you think, Aki? Another, uh, another idea? Maybe the money uh, is not for uh, local economies, is for a uh, international maybe, or a big company. It's for local. A local economies. Local. Local <laughs> stores. And um, maybe, maybe economy it, because a story uh, tell in the second. The money is for local e-commerce and become 
for the international e-commerce. Sí. Maybe we're at E, only become or become. I don't know. Sin. ¿Cómo fue? No, nothing. <laughs> ok. Uh, Osman, Nelson. Mm. Another mm. idea. You, you can, you, uh, I told you, you, you can buy at any time. Uh, 24 7, huh? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Mm, that is Spanish again. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> you can buy. How can no I say one. that? How can I say that? 24 7. 24 7. That's it. <laughs> you see, you can say it in English. Do it. Always, we can buy always, always, and cualquier. How do you say? At any time. Any time. Ah, okay. Any, any time. Any time. At any time. You can at buy always time. at any okay. time. At any time. At, always at any time. And uh, twenty. We're gonna say again um, our opinion and say who win and say uh -huh. who wins. Did you win? Who was the winner? Um, <laughs> we, have to, we have to write. The, no, the idea? Mm -mm. it's not necessary, guys. This is speaking, only speaking. That's what I need. Okay. Well, I, I don't know who really wins. I think that's, <laughs> I, I think uh, here uh, nobody wins because uh, uh, it was a tie. Yes, yeah. yes, because uh, the, 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 this topic is interesting. Uh, there are so many topics we have to talk about. Mm, there are okay. different points of view, different yeah. point of view. Yes. Okay. Yes, because we 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 who are looking in an intermediate point <laughs> between the 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 positive and negative because the things that Wilbur and Ulysses says um, said were were right and in the things that uh, Elias and me says too. So so we, we think that maybe there are positive things and the negative things the um, the e-commerce sellers can can improve it to to get better in and don't have that negative things. Mm, okay, pretty good guys. So we can say that it was a tie, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. So uh, we don't have more time. Let's go back to the main room. All right. Okay. Pretty good. Okay. We are going to wait for everybody. There are some people in the breakup rooms. So let's wait for them. Did your classmates speak in Spanish? <laughs> no, right? No, teacher, we didn't. No. Excellent. Ah, very good. Excellent. That's the idea. Very good. We okay. speak French. <laughs> ah, very good. I hope so. Remember that the class has been recorded, so I can see you guys. <laughs> Okay, let's wait for your classmate. They are still the breakout rooms. Let's wait for them to join us. Okay, time's up everybody. All right. Who, who win? Tell me guys, who, who were the winner? I'm the winner. <laughs> <laughs> team A or Team B? 
Mm, I think both. Both? both yes, because uh, we, we, we speak uh, with my team uh, and team B also is uh, say their opinion. Mm, okay. I think both we uh, we are winner. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And the rest of you guys in the other teams, who were the winners? Team A, team B, or was it a tie? In the group one, number one, before uh, team A. Oh, the team A were the winners? <laughs> Ah, congratulations. Uh, uh, which uh, the, the, the classmate uh, difference or points negative or positive, mm -hmm. but the winner, the win, uh, the points positive. Okay. Imagine, guys, when we are in a debate, we are going to listen to different point of view, right? That's why I always mention we need to be very respectful. Now, did your classmates speak in Spanish? Everybody? <laughs> no, nothing. No, teacher. Nothing, nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> full English. No, <laughs> My classmate speak full English. I was listening, guys. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, you know what? Uh, I was listening to different groups. I really liked it because you were explaining, you were talking a lot. Now, a, a friendly recommendation. When we have speaking activities, it's not necessary to write. Cuando yo les diga que van a presentar la información, Ahí sí les voy a pedir que la escriban. Pero si solo es un speaking, no es necesario que la escriban. ¿Ok? Eh, okay. Aclaro esto porque les puede tomar mucho tiempo. When you are writing the answers, that's why we cannot continue talking. All right? So, only if I say that you write information because you will present the information to the class. So in that case, you can write it. But if not, it's not necessary. Now, I was listening to some groups. Let's check these sentences and tell me. I was listening to Spanish. How can I say this word in English? Look. We have options. We can say demand or we can say required. required. So I don't want to listen to English, I mean to Spanish again, all right? I heard this word too, imparcial. How can I say that word in English? Look, it's very similar. Impartial. Impartial. Exactly, Impartial. very good. Now, can I say more easy? More easy. No, more easy. it's easier. Ah, very good. Remember that comparative adjective. Easy is short adjective. So the correct one is? Easier. Uh, easier. easier. Okay? Easier. Pretty good. Okay. Now, excellent job, guys. Remember, the idea is that you participate, that you talk. You are doing great. Excellent job. Now, uh, we are going to continue. We already practice reading. We already speak. That's great. Now, let's continue talking about the different distribution channels that we have. If you have your manuals, okay, this information is in the page 10. We have different types of distribution channels. We have direct channel, we have retail channel, and we have wholesale channels, okay? Well, this picture, it's a little bit uh, complicated. I'm going to explain the different, retail, uh, the different distribution channels in a simpler way. For example, let's start with the direct channel. Look at the picture. In the direct channel, I have 
a manufacturer, and then the customer. Okay, so basically the process is, as its name says, direct. For example, imagine that this person, imagine that the product is pupusas, okay? This person makes the pupusas, this person sells the pupusas, so here we got the pupusas, the pupusas go direct to the customers. No hay intermediarios, look, there is nothing in between, no. So that's why it is direct channel. Can you give me another example of direct channels? Another business that use direct channels? What do you think? Can you think in another company or another business that use direct channels? Maybe artisanal shoes. Very good, exactly. They make the shoes and they sell it directly to the customers. Very good example. What else? Any other idea about direct channels? A restaurant. A restaurant, yes. They make the food and they sell the food directly to the customers. There is nothing in between. Excellent. That's another example of direct channel. Is it clear, everybody, what a direct channel is? Yes. Yes? Yes, teacher. Perfect. Please, if you have questions, let me know because we are going to use this information. Okay, that is the first option. The second option is retail channels, okay? So here is something different. What happens in the retail channels? I have the manufacturer, that is the person who makes the product, but then I have retailer. Do you remember what a retailer is? Yes? Yes. Exactly. It's a person a small who sells. Stores. Exactly. It's a small store. It's a person who sells the product, but in a small amount. So I have the retailers. And after that, I have the customer. For example, imagine, guys, in this case, um, the gas station. The gas station, do they produce the gas? What do you think? No. Oh. No, no, they are not the manufacturers, right? The gas station, they just sell the product. That is an example of retail channels. Can you think in another business that um, use retail channels? What do you example, think? For example, a bakery, the Rosario. Ah, very good. Imagine in that case, they manufacture the product or not? Yeah. But yeah. in another place, right? And then they take it to the retail channel and then the product go to the customers. What else? Another example for retail channels? What do you think? Maybe supermarket? Supermarket, that's a good example. The uh, supermarkets guys, do you think that they manufacture the product? Yes, yes no? teacher. Yes, for example, Walmart. Uh-huh. 
do you think that they manufacturer or the products? No, teacher. Maybe not all of them, right? So remember, manufacturers are the factories that they make the product. In this case, guys, the difference between the direct and the retail is that we need a retailer, okay? Is it clear the difference between direct and retail channels? Yes, is that clear? Yes, yes teacher. Yes. Okay, I'm going to ask you later, so please pay attention. Okay, the last option or the last channel that we are going to study is wholesale channel. Wholesale. What is the difference? Look at the picture. Can you see something different here? In the wholesale channel? Yes, have one uh, intermediary more. Yes. In this case, we have, again, we have a manufacturer. Then the manufacturer gives the product to a wholesaler. Do you remember wholesaler? What is that? Uh -huh. What is wholesaler? Mayorista. Yes, it's the one who sells the product, but in a big amount. The wholesaler gives the product to a retailer. And finally, the product gets to the customers, All right? If you see the process here, it's a little bit longer. A clear example of these wholesale channels are, for example, the smallest stores that we can find in our uh, neighborhood. Okay? Uh, ¿Ya saben las tienditas que hay en nuestros neighborhoods? Yes? Imagine, first of all, there is the manufacturer. Viene el mayorista and they buy a lot of products to the manufacturer. Y el dueño de la tiendita, right, the owner of the little store, they buy him some products and they finally sell the product to the customers. Okay? In the wholesale channels, look, we have different steps. Is it clear the difference between the wholesale and the retail? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes teacher. Can you give me an um, example of companies that use um, wholesale channels? La Constancia. Ah, that's a good one. Very good. What else? And also the uh, medicine channel, the laboratory uh, sell to the drogeries and the drogeries sell to the pharmacy, the pharmacy to the customer. Cool, yeah. very good one. Those are examples of wholesale channels. Wholesale. Now, imagine that you have your own business. Which channels would you like to have? Which channels do you think is more effective for you? Direct, retail, or wholesale? What do you think? Teacher, mm -hmm. in this case, uh, and depend that the, the type of company, because mm -hmm. the for example, I'm a retailer and I am buy and, and go to, um, a manufacturer because mm, for uh, because the expense or money I don't know buy in, in the qual in the cantidad amount amount exactly is is this is the different the 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 for the the 
that buy mm -hmm. in and it depend the the type the, the business that's true that is something important what your classmate mentioned it depends of the kind of business that we have right depends on the company because remember not all the companies can manufacture the product right sometimes it's necessary to have a manufacturer so it depends on the kind of business got it yes is it clear the difference everybody between direct retail and wholesale channel yes any questions so far no questions are you sure no yet <laughs> no yet <laughs> Maybe during the exam. Yes, tell me. Yeah. Uh huh. Any maybe. questions? No, uh, it's not a question. So maybe uh, uh, how can I see in my company? Mm hmm. Uh, we, uh, uh, I don't know how to say. It. Try. We start. We start system system alarm. So uh -huh. uh, we we get the product uh, from the manufacturer but but we are we don't we don't pass through the retail we go direct to the customer so uh, uh oh, I know, but uh -huh. in that case that is a good example thank you for mm -hmm. sharing so your company buys the product to the manufacturer right yes and then you sell the product to the customer yes directly. in this case very good in this case you i mean your company is the retailer you are the retailer okay because you are the one who buys the product to the manufacturer so you are the ones who have the contact with the customer your company is the retailer in that scenario okay okay very good how about you guys think about your company if your company sells a product are you using any of these channels what do you think in my case teacher uh, i i'm working in a, in a factory mm -hmm. in in my factory, it makes cloth. Uh, we we work to brands Nike. Ah. Uh, uh, we we make the the shirt, the t-shirt, uh -huh. uh, and then uh, the product go to a big big store or or, or distribution center distribution center. Uh -huh. Center distribution of distribution. Distribution center. Mm -hmm. center. Yes. In, in this case, what do you think? Your company is the manufacturer Ma or ah, that's correct. Exactly. Yes. In this case, you are the manufacturer. Pretty good job. So that is what okay. I want, guys. I really want you to try to relate these scenarios with your life what is the role that your company is taking understood everyone yes any questions or ready for the exam yes ready for the exam ready for the time to check. excellent that's the attitude okay this is the exam. <laughs> um, this exercise is on your manual. So if you had your manuals, let's go to it, page 10. We are going to read these uh, companies and you have to decide what is the channels that they are using. For example, I have the company Amazon. Okay, Amazon sells Kindles. Do you know what, what is that product? 
Do you know that product? Yes. It's a no. Yes. Uh, books. Yes. It's like a tablet, but it's just for reading books. Okay. Uh, it is not uh, to check apps. It is not to use it for social networks. It is like a tablet, but you can use it only for reading books. Okay. Okay. So Amazon sell that product to its customer through its own platform. So what do you think? What kind of channel is that? Is direct channel, wholesale channel or retail channel? Retail channel. Retail. Wholesale channel. Wholesale. Direct channel. <laughs> okay, all of you have different options. Everybody, okay. and you, uh, what do you think? Directly. Direct. I think it's direct. Why, I guys? Think it's direct because go to go the the right the, the direct go customer. Mm. That customer. Okay. I think that. So look at this one. The correct answer is direct. They Maybe. use direct channel. And let me explain you why. Amazon, they have the product. They are the only ones, actually. They are their own manufacturers. And it says that they sell the products in his own platform. No utilizan una retailer store. Ellos lo venden en su propio website. No es como que se lo mandan a otra tienda, like, ah, se la vamos a mandar al super selecto para que ellos la vendan. O se la vamos a mandar a Walmart para que ellos las vendan ahí. No, they have their own product and they sell the product in their own platform. That's why it's direct. Si se fijan, en este caso el producto va desde los creadores hasta directamente al customer. Customer. Mm -hmm. There is nothing in between. It's totally direct. If you chose direct, you have one point. Okay, that is the correct answer. Let's move on uh, to the next one. I need a volunteer, please, for reading the sentence number two. Uh huh. Volunteer, please. Me, teacher. Thank you. Go ahead. IKEA buys products from different manufacturers and sells them in their stores. All right. Pay attention here. It says that they buy the products to different manufacturers and then they sell the products, not to the customers. They sell the products to their stores. I mean, be careful here. What kind of channels are they using? Wholesale. Is direct, wholesale, or retailer? Retailers. Retailers. I think it's retail. Mm. Wholesale channels. Wholesale. Okay, why do you think that is wholesale? Why do you think there is retail? Because they buy direct, uh, direct to for, from manufacturers. Mm -hmm. Okay. And why do yeah. you think, guys, is wholesale or retail? Why? Wholesale teacher because wholesaler teacher because okay. IKEA, uh, IKEA IKEA is IKEA is sell to their stores, no mm -hmm. for the consumers. That is something important, guys. I'm going to explain this. Okay, here is the manufacturer. A manufacturer. Okay, and what happens later? 
According to the sentence, it says that IKEA buys the product to the manufacturer. Ellos hacen el producto o lo compran? What do you think? Lo compran. Lo compran, right? They buy. The sentence says that they buy. Okay, so I have the manufacturer, then I have IKEA. And IKEA sells the product to the customers? Yes, yes or no? Yes. But no. what happens before? Look, it says, pay attention because this is the key word. They sell the product in their stores. So what happens here, guys, is IKEA has different retail stores. Maybe they have one here. They have another store here and another here. Basically, IKEA is a whole sailor. They have different stores. They sell the product there. And here I have the customer. How many steps do we have? Look, one, two, three, and finally the product gets to the customer. So, which channel is this? Wholesale. That is the one. So, it's a wholesale. If you pick wholesale, you got the correct wholesale. answer. If not, guys, oops, sorry, my keyboard is blocked. <laughs> I cannot type. Me están hackeando, guys. <laughs> okay. Is that clear the reason why it is wholesale? Yes. Teacher, I have a question. Go ahead. Uh, in this case, uh, although, okay. although? Uh, although uh, that um, in the second stage, so the three stage, in this case, wholesale, mm -hmm. don't have a transaction or sale um also is a wholesale oh what happens here guys is even if it is the same company what happens is that it doesn't say that they sell the product to the customers that says that it sells the products to their stores por eso es que se convierte en una wholesale porque está dando a entender que ellos compran el producto en grandes cantidades Y luego lo venden a tiendas más pequeñas. Uh -huh. Exactly. Okay. That's the reason why it's wholesale. Okay. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Okay, let's continue with the number three. Imagine that this is an exam, guys. You have to get all the answers correct. A volunteer for reading the next one, please. Me, teacher. Thank you. Go ahead. Uh, with some grocery supplies online of independent grocery store with purchase in bulk. Ah, interesting. Look at this, guys. This is the name of the company, Awesome Grocers. Okay. Awesome Grocers, they supply the product of an independent store, but in a bulk. Hmm. bulk. What do you think? What kind of channel is this? We got awesome grocers. They give the product, okay, to an independent grocery stores. So what is that? It's like a wholesale. Wholesale. Are you sure? Yes, in, and not. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, in... pay attention. Awesome grocers, they supplies. Okay, I have awesome grocers over here. Okay, they give the product to who? To an independent grocery stores. Okay, I have here, this is the independent grocery stores. And then what happens? Another store. There mm. are so Which many one? stores. 
What is the other store? Maybe direct. Direct? Direct. Are you sure? Retail. Retail. Imagine what happens then. Tengo esta company, Awesome Grocers. Ellos le dan el producto a una tienda independent, a una, como una tienda independiente, right? That is this one. ¿Qué va a hacer esta tiendita con los products? ¿Se los va a vender a otra tienda o se los va a vender al customer? What do you think? Otra tienda. Mm, they will is... sell it to the customer. customer. Se los vende al customer. Si se fijan aquí, no dice que se los vende a otra tienda, right? So, so, but, so uh, the sentence say purchases in bulk. Mm -hmm. In bulk, I suppose that is big. Bulk. In a big amount, yes. Yeah. But remember, guys, in this scenario, we need to pay attention in the step. ¿Cuántos pasos lleva para que el producto llegue al customer? En este caso, tengo el primer step, el awesome grocer. ¿Ok? Este es el paso uno. Ellos le dan el producto a quién? To the independent grocery. Ese es el paso dos. Y al final el producto llega al customer. So, ¿cuántos steps do I have here? Tres. And which, Two, but the I mean, if, thing. if we if we include the customer, <laughs> that is the one, right? So let's go back to the picture. So which channels is the most similar to this one? Direct, retail, or wholesale? ¿Cuál se parece más? Retail. Wholesale. But yeah, in the sentence, I don't say that if I was with some grocery is a manufacturer it doesn't say directly así como que literalmente no lo dice right que es un manufacturer pero si sí dice que es el supplier es como el que le da los productos i know guys that in this kind of sentences es como que queda mucho a la imaginación yo sé que las oraciones no son muy explícitas right y es como que necesitaríamos más Context, we need more context. I know, I know. <laughs> but this is the exercise that appears in the manual. I'm sorry. So that's why I'm I'm trying to explain it. So it, it can be a little bit clearer. In this case, yes, it doesn't say that they are the manufacturer. They say just that they are the suppliers. So, como no menciona un manufacturer, well, in this case, I assume that because they supply, they are the manufacturers. Again, in this case, guys, por eso les digo, vamos a enfocarnos en los steps. ¿Cuántos steps podemos identificar? Teacher, okay, yes. Basically, here happens uh, with my company, no? Uh -huh. uh, we buy it directly to the manufacturer. Exactly. And we, and we becomes uh, the retailer. Uh, retailer. Okay. Exactly. That's correct. So in this case, guys, the number three will be the retail channel. Okay. I know that it can be a little bit confusing, but it's because we don't have the full context. So that's why we need to pay attention in the steps. Okay, um, next one. I need a volunteer, please, for reading the sentence number four. Me. Yes, go ahead. Okay. The computer sells through its own online platform or call center. Thank center. you. Mm -hmm. So do you know that company, Dell? Yeah. So it says that they sell the products in their own website. What kind of channel is this? Direct. Direct channel. Direct, are you sure? Yeah. Why? We Why do you think that is direct? The steps. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine in this case, the company Dell, do they buy the product or they manufacture their own products? 
Manufacturer? The manufacturer. Of they, yes. Yeah. Actually, the company Dell, they do the whole process, right? They make the computers and it says that they are selling the computers in their own platform. They are not using a retail stores. They are not using another company. So this is a clear example of direct, direct. channel. Direct. Mm -hmm. direct. Like Excellent. It. Pretty good. Volunteer number five. Go ahead. The GAP buys clothes from other from others and manufacturers to sell in their stores. Hmm. If you see, this one is very similar to some of the examples that we got before. So what kind? of channel is this? Retail. Retail, are you sure? Everybody, do you agree? Yes, I agree. Okay. Wholesale. Wholesale, why? Look at these guys. Okay, I have the company. They buy the product too? That. The manufacturers, and then? Sell in the, the store. Mm, which one do we have in common? Is there it? Is the same the two? Ah, very good. It's the same example as in the number two. If you see GAP, they buy the product to the manufacturers pero no se lo venden directamente a los customers. ¿Qué hacen ellos? Lo envían a todas sus other stores. Okay? So Gap is basically the wholesale and they send the product to their stores. Listen, dice que se los venden a otras tiendas. Las tiendas son de ellos, pero ellos pueden tener tiendas con diferente nombre. Right? Por eso es que se convierten en qué tipo de channel? Wholesale. wholesale. That wholesale. is the one. Wholesale. Pretty good. Okay, the last one, everybody. Volunteer for reading. Me, teacher. Thank you. Go ahead. Better grocers supplies a line of independent grocery stores with purchases in bulk. So guys, this is an extra point for free. <laughs> this sentence is very similar to a previous one. What kind of channel is this? Retail. Retail. <laughs> Easy, all right. So imagine that this is your exam. How many correct answers did you have? Did you pass the exam? Yes? No? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And you guys? Did I you pass? I one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And the rest of you? In my case, 50-50. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> okay, look. Uh, what affects here is the context. Okay, yo sé, hay falta de context, habría que ser un poquito más specific. That's why I try to give us the example drawing, okay, in order that you can understand a little bit better. But my purpose, guys, is that you understand the difference between direct, retail, and the wholesale channel. Just remember, how can we identify the type of channels is the steps. How many steps do we have until the product reach the customers? Understood? Yes? Any questions, everyone? No questions? Okay, very good. Okay, let's breathe, relax, guys, stretch your arms. I can see you a little bit stressed. Are you stressed? Yes, a little bit. Maybe. <laughs> okay, before continue, I'm going to check attendance again. 
So when you listen to your name, say present. Um, Ana Lorena? Present teacher. Very good. Boris Alexander? Okay, uh, Carlos Alberto? Carlos Alberto? Carlos Ernesto? Yes. Okay. Um, Edwin Antonio? Present teacher. Okay, all right. Elias Neftali? Present teacher. All right. Uh, Ulises Torres? Present. Okay. Jose Miguel? <clears throat> Okay, um, Jose Salvador. I'm here, teacher. Okay, very good. Um, let's see, let's see, Josman Atilio. Present, teacher. Thank you. Kevin Alfredo. Present. All right. Nelson Alberto. Nelson Alberto. <laughs> okay. Uh, Osman Enrique. Present. Very good. Pamela Carolina. Present teacher. All right. I'm here. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Ah, you were sleeping. No, no. Ah, okay. Eh, Rafael, Rafael Alexander. I'm here, teacher. Very good. Santiago Roberto. And eh, Wilber Alberto. Present. Excellent, very good. Okay, guys, now we are going to talk about something a little bit different, okay? And this is the moment for speaking. So everybody, keep in mind the vocabulary and let's talk. We are going to learn some expressions of certainty. What do you understand if I say certainty? What do you think, what is that? Mm -hmm. For example, if I say, guys, um, did you take a shower today? Yes, I did. Are no, yes. Sure? <laughs> no, yes. <Huh. laughs> okay, are you sure that you take a shower? Yeah. Yes. Ah, a hundred percent sure. Yes, of course. that's it. So that is what we are going to learn. We are going to learn phrases that prove that we are totally certain. Okay. And we are going to learn some phrases that shares that we are not so sure. Okay. Um, first of all, let's see this quick conversation. I need volunteers for reading, please. Who wants to read? Me, teacher. I am the first. Okay, thank you. Uh, okay, Kevin, you will be Philip. Elias, you will be Ed. Go ahead. Okay. The business is going well. I never thought our ice cream will sell like this. Yeah, the boat is always packed with people. We have to set our, our ice cream shop. We don't know anything about running our own store. Let, let's ask the manager at the ice cream shop down, downtown. Certainly, he will want to buy our incredible ice cream. Very good. Thank you, guys. What is the product that they are selling? Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. What is the phrase that shows that they are Confident. Look. Certainly. Certainly. So imagine if I ask you guys, uh, for example, did you work on the platform? Yes, teacher. Instead of saying yes, you can say certainly. Or imagine if I ask you guys, uh, will you pass the exam? Certainly, okay? That proves that you feel confident about it. There are some other expressions that you can use. Imagine, and this is when I ask you the question, are you sure? If I ask you guys, like, are you sure? 
How can you answer? You can say, yes, I'm certain. Or you can say, I'm 100% certain. Imagine if I say, are you sure? Yes, teacher, I'm absolutely sure. Imagine if I ask you guys, uh, will you work tomorrow? Will you go to work? What would you say? Yes, um, I am certain. Sure. Yes, absolutely sure. Okay, very good. Yes, I'm absolutely sure that I will work. Or yes, I'm certain. So another one is yes, or I have no doubt about it. Uh, imagine if someone says, guys, in El Salvador, uh, the weather is hot. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yes, yes always. Absolutely. Imagine if I ask you, are you <laughs> sure that it's hot? Yes. I have I no doubt sure about, about it. it. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure about it. Or I have no doubt. I have no doubt about it. Okay? Pretty good. Now, this is when you are certain, okay? This is when you feel confident that your answer is yes, okay? Another option is when you are not sure, okay? If you are not sure, these are some of the phrases that you can use. For example, imagine if I say, guys, what do you think? Is it... Um, it will rain tonight. What do you think? I'm not sure about Maybe. it. Very good. Think so. <laughs> okay, you see, you can say, I'm not sure about it, or mm, I don't think so. Imagine if I say, guys, um, will you do, oh, will you eat pizza this weekend? I don't know yet. Very good. I don't know yet. What else? Imagine if I ask, mm, <laughs> will you have an exam tomorrow in the class? What do you think? I don't think so. <laughs> OK, I don't think so. Will you find money in the street tomorrow? Uh huh. Oh, I, I, I am not 100% <laughs> sure. So. All right. So you see, this is when you are not certain. So you can say, I don't think so, or I'm not 100% sure. Will the selector <laughs> go to the World Cup? What do you think? think I'm so. not really <laughs> sure about. Oh, very good. I don't think so. I don't, I'm not really sure about it. Okay, those are the phrases that you can use. So I will ask you guys to copy the phrases for certainty. You can copy them or you can take a screenshot because we are going to use it right now. Okay, copy them. Let yeah. me know when you're done. Yes. Did you copy these ones? Yes. yes. Okay. Now copy the other ones too. Uncertainty. Copy them. Ready? No. Yes? No? Okay. Copy them. No worries. I will give you time. Done. Done, everybody? Yes? Now, we are going to discuss some questions and I want you to answer the questions using these phrases. You can use certainty or uncertainty phrases, okay? So for example, look at the number one. 
Will humans ever meet aliens? <laughs> what do you think, guys? Uh-huh. Will humans ever meet aliens? I don't think so. Very good. I don't think so. And you guys, what do you think? Yes? I'm not really no? sure about it. Ah, very good. So that's what I need. I want you to answer these questions using those phrases. And also, you can tell me why. If you say, I don't think so, okay, why? Ah, because aliens don't exist, for example. Or, ah, because they live very far away. <laughs> I don't know, so give me a reason. So again, you can copy the questions, you can take a screenshot. I'm going to send the questions on WhatsApp's group too, but if you want, you can take a screenshot. Got it? You done? Yes. Okay, you ready? Yes. Excellent. Yes. Okay, so guys, let's go to the breakup rooms. Again, I need to everybody participate, please. Give your opinions. You have to say certainty or uncertainty phrases. You will be in team of three. There are some groups that will be in teams of four. And the idea, guys, again, not Spanish. If you don't know how to say a word, ask your classmates and they will help you. Let's go to work. Hi. Hi. How are you, man? Hi. Uh, hello, man. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Okay, I could. I really say. Hi, Carlos. Yeah. Hey. Here's one <laughs> question. I could have called, I could have paid the, the answer, the, the questions. Um, I share my screen. Wait. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, can you see it? Yes, I can see it. Yes. Okay. The first, will humans uh, even meet aliens? Aliens? Huh. Uh, like I uh, said, uh, I don't think so. Uh, because I... Uh, uh, all that I know is uh, we know nothing about them. All there are all the uh, hipotes hipotesis hipotesis. Hasta en español lo puedo decirlo. I don't know. <laughs> what is the word? What is the word hipotesis. that you are trying? Hipotesis. <laughs> sí. <laughs> okay, guys, you have to help each other, not reading. No, no, okay. it's okay. It's, okay. it's just hypothesis is hypothesis. It doesn't change. <laughs> the spelling... <laughs> okay. The spelling is different, but okay, the pronunciation uh -huh. is similar. Okay. Oh, okay, thank hypothesis. you. Because we only have hypothesis about, about the age, but we don't have any... Any... Mm -hmm. any Any proof? Any taste? I don't know. Yeah, in my case, I'm not sure about it, uh, but um, I have doubts uh, uh, respect this question because uh, the government of USA um, saying um, 
Mm, I go two years. Uh, could be uh, the contact of any aliens. I read the article. I read the article about this, but I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. Who will win the next World Cup? Interesting. Barcelona, Madrid, or Arnold. No, World Cup. When is the next World, World Cup? Cup? It's a... Uh, uh, for me, it's, it's <laughs> Copa. Uh, we, we can know who will win, who will win because uh, we don't know who, we, who will be. Uh, we will play it. But just imagine which yeah, country. It's just, it's Salvador. Yeah, it's Salvador. <laughs> okay, but let's yeah, try, let's, let's try to big, use the big phrases. soccer, big soccer, big soccer. Uh -huh. <laughs> so you can say, I'm not sure about it, but I think El Salvador has a lot of opportunities. Okay, let's try yeah. to use the phrases and then provide the answer. Okay, <laughs> okay but if we're talking about the World Cup big soccer, we can speak in a good point. Okay. No. For me, I think Germany. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm not sure about that, but uh, I think uh, Barcelona win the next World Cup. Remember that when we say World Cup, we are talking about uh, like El Mundial. Okay. Countries, yeah. Yeah, that is the meaning for World Cup. It's similar. Mm -hmm. The countries. Yeah. Okay. Uh, specific, specific this country or other country? The ones that you consider. All In of countries. All of the countries. For example, for the next World Cup, do you think that is going to be the winner? Who? United States. Brazil, Spain, uh, France. Argentina. Okay. Okay. And you guys? The next. Mm -hmm. uh, for you, sure. for, okay. For you, Nelson, will it rain tomorrow? Mm. Mm. I don't know yet, but uh, for the 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 weather right now, uh, um, it's a high probability that this occur. Or oh, this happen is is correct. Okay. It is yes. Okay. In the night, be. Can I be here with with you in my class? Okay, maybe on weekend. You yeah, you in the weekend. Birthday. And uh, tell me about you. Uh, my birthday was um, previous month. It was on May, and I went to the beach <laughs> i went oh, to the beach great. for my birthday i went to to have lunch at beach and then have dinner in another restaurant that's what i did in my birthday <laughs> oh that sounds so good and how about you edwin oh I absolutely sure that I won't be at my home. I celebrated from Friday to Sunday. 
That sounds great. <laughs> that sounds great. And Anna? Okay, I am sure uh, that I don't want to celebrate this day. Uh, no. I, no, I don't like. I stay at home or uh, or I try to stay at home all day. If oh I God. don't have work. <laughs> Well, you you you're gonna rest in your house. The truth that uh, I don't don't celebrate my birthday. You don't celebrate. No, but my partners. <laughs> Hello, is anybody here? Yes, teacher. Did you finish all the questions? Yes. All right, that's excellent. So tell me, guys, what will you do this weekend? Use the phrases. I am I'm not as I'm not a hundred percent sure because uh, I think uh, go with my family to the park, or I'm going to to go with my friends. Mm, pretty good. Sounds like a good plan. And you guys? Who else? Who else? Mm, okay, guys, let's participate. Okay, well, let's go back to the main room and join to our classmates. Let's go back. Time's up. All right, let's go back, everyone. Okay, let's see, let's see. Um, some of your classmates are still in the breakup rooms. Let's wait for them. Could you answer all the questions? Yes? Yes, teacher. Did your classmate use the expressions? Yes. Ah, that's great. Yes, yes, Excellent. Good. Very good job. Very good job. Okay, just let's wait for everyone to go back to the main room. Remember, guys, participation is important. The more you participate, the more that you will learn, the more that you will improve. Okay, everyone, did your classmates speak in Spanish? No? Oh, teacher. Ah, very good. Okay, uh, let's see. Well, unfortunately, we don't have more time. So tomorrow I will interview you, okay? And you have to use the certainty phrases. So try to review the phrases, try to memorize them, and you have to answer using those phrases. Understood? Yes? Yes, it's true. Very good. Practice the vocabulary, everyone. Now, as always, um, there is a winner that has to stay today, and the winner is da -da 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 Carlos Alberto. Carlos, are you there? Congratulations. Oh. <laughs> okay, teacher, no problem. Very good. Oh, yes, <laughs> yeah, he's the winner. <laughs> Ah, if you laugh, you have to stay with him too. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Peter, how do uh -huh. you say burla? <laughs> Joke. 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 Uh -huh. Really? So, uh, in this case, no, no worries. Only Carlos Alberto stays. The rest of you guys, you can go to sleep. Thank you so much for being in the, uh, in the class. Have a beautiful night and see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye -bye. See you guys. Thank you. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Okay. Hello, Carlos. How are you? Hello, teacher. 
a little tired, teacher, but oh, that's okay. <laughs> yes, I imagine. <laughs> no worries. The meeting is pretty short. Um, it's just about to clarify some questions that you may have about the class, about the topics, or about the platform. So this is the moment just for you. <laughs> so tell me, do you have any question? Uh, for the moment, teacher, all but okay. Everything easy? Yes. Ah, that's uh, good. Uh, excellent. The uh, uh, compartir classes. How do you say compartir? Share. Share. Okay. Uh, for the moment, is is the first experience, and in the classroom, is very important for me. Uh, in the practice and not the back room. Mm, okay. Yes. So is this the first the first uh, course that you take here virtually? Uh, no, no, uh, uh, I have uh, the the one years and with uh, Insafor. Ah, okay, that's great. Yes. Okay, it's been a long road. <laughs> Yes. Okay, sounds good, sounds good. So for you, what is the most difficult skill? Speaking, listening, reading, grammar, or writing? Uh, uh, for me, I, uh, for me, the true problem is uh, listening. Mm, okay. Okay, and, and grammar. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is common. So the, the, the grammar is, and sometimes I do not remember the the composition and and the the, the different uh, word. Ah, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. No worries. So during this course, we are going to check grammar. So we are we can take some minutes in the class to review some topics. So if you have a question or if there is a topic specifically that you would like to review, you can tell me in WhatsApp groups. So you can say, teacher, you know what? I would like to review this topic. And we can practice it. We can take some minutes in the class and practice that topic. Okay? Oh, okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, teacher. in the class, I will try to include all the skills. Sometimes we are going to have listening. Sometimes we are going to have writing. What I always try to include in every single class is speaking. That is something that we are going to see every single day. Okay? For okay, sure. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Uh, do you have the access to the platform already? Uh, for the moment, no, teacher. Uh... I open the platform uh, tomorrow. Okay, yeah. very good. Yes, try to work little by little. Remember that every Friday I'm going to check your progress. So I need to see that you finished uh, at least the first unit so you can continue working on it. All right? All right, teacher. Thank you. Perfect. Excellent. Uh, I don't know if you have any other question or any other comment. Only that, teacher. Perfect. Okay, so I know that you are tired, so let's go to sleep. Have a wonderful night and see you tomorrow. Okay, Goodbye. Night. See Goodbye. you. Goodbye.